Good day, everybody. This is uh, Dr. Nandi. Today, I'm going to discuss about confidence interval for standard interval. So without further ado, I'll get started by sharing my computer screen with you. Thirty samples of a medicine were randomly selected and weighed. The sample standard deviation is 1.3 milligram. Assuming the weights are normally distributed, construct 99% confidence interval for the population variance and standard deviation. In order to construct the confidence interval for the population variance, we have to use chi-square written as chi square, but pronounced as chi square distribution. Here DF, which is degrees of freedom is N minus one, sample size minus one. Now in this case, uh, DF with sample size of 30 is 30 minus one equal to 29. The level of confidence is C equal to 0.99. Now confidence level C is equal to one minus alpha, where alpha is the level of significance. So alpha is equal to one minus C is one minus 0.99 equal to 0 0.01. So I've shown you the chi-square distribution with the area in the center where most probably the population variance will fall is 0 0.99. And that is equal to C equal to 0 0.99. And we solved and found alpha equal to 0 0.01. The area in the left tail is alpha by two or 0 0.01 by two is 0 0.005. And area on the right of the critical value of chi-square, alpha by two is also 0 0.005. Now chi-square is indicated by the area to the right of the critical value. So on the left tail, the chi-square, the area to the right of that critical value chi-square on the left tail is one minus alpha from the area in the center plus alpha by two, in the right tail. So it is one minus alpha plus alpha by two, which works out to one minus alpha by two. Now alpha is 0 0.01, so alpha by two is 0 0.01 by two is 0 0.005. Hence, one minus alpha by two is 0 0.995. So the left tail critical value of chi-square is chi-square 0.995. Again, 0.995 indicates the area to the right of that critical value in the left tail under the curve. Similarly, the area on the right tail to the right of the right critical value chi-square is alpha by two. So that alpha by two would be indicated by chi-square alpha by two or chi-square 0 0.005. Now, in order to find these two critical values of chi-square, we go to a website such as people.richland.edu forward slash jams, james, forward slash lecture, forward slash m170, forward slash tbl, table dot dash chi, tbl dash chi dot html. So you can use uh, this wave address to find the chi-square table. Now in the first column of the table, you will find is the degrees of freedom. Our degrees of freedom is 29. Also notice, the chi-square 0.995, the area on the uh, top, area is on the top row, is 0.995. Chi-square 0.995 means area to the right of that critical value of chi-square is 0.995 under the curve. So we look for the intersection of the vertical line through 0.995 in the top row and degrees and horizontal line through degrees of freedom 29. It intersects at 13.121. Similarly, the area in the right tail is 0 0.005, so chi square 0 0.005. We find that by drawing a vertical line through 0 0.005 in the top row and 29 under degrees of freedom, we draw a horizontal line through it. Those two horizontal line and the vertical line intersect at 52.326. Hence, chi square 0.995 is 13.121 and chi square 0 0.005 is 52.321, okay? So in order to find the confidence interval for the variance and the standard deviation, we'll go back to, we'll go to part two. So please come back and look up part two. I'll appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for taking 
the thanks for subscribing to my channel, which you do by hitting the right subscribe button, great subscribe button under the on the right bottom corner of the screen. Okay, I come back every week with new problems, solutions to new problems. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.